Today on Hong Kong Blu-rays, we're reviewing the Cine Asia release of Little Big Soldier, as requested by PerryFan49, in celebration of Jackie Chan's recent birthday. <laughs> Welcome to Hong Kong Blu-rays. I'm Shaz. And I'm Leon. If you enjoy our review of Little Big Soldier, give us a like. And please be sure to subscribe. It means a great deal to us and it will help you to keep up to date with all our reviews and videos. We'd love to hear from you, so please leave any comments below. Thank you. Little Big Soldier was released in 2010. The Blu-ray we're looking at is by Cine Asia and the running time is 92 minutes. This is a war action comedy directed by Ding Sheng. Jackie Chan stars as the Liang soldier. And Wang Li Hong as the Wei general. Steve Yu as Prince Wen. And Du Yu Ming as God Wu. I have written a brief synopsis, which Shaz will read for you now. Yes. In the aftermath of a great battle set in ancient China, two men remain alive. One is a peasant soldier whose only aim is to survive in order to continue his family's line. The other is a wounded general. Thinking that he will get a reward for capturing the enemy general, the soldier decides to bring him to his homeland in the hope of being able to obtain some farmland and continue on with a peaceful life. However, fate may have other ideas. So, as this was one of Jackie's dream projects, what were your impressions of this film? I thought it was, well, it was really good. I thought that, obviously, it was a lot different to Jackie's usual sort of comedy Kung Fu films. I liked that this film did have a comedy element in it, but it wasn't too much. It was also very serious in places. Um, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I think so too. Yeah. The, the comedy struck a really nice balance with the film. The tone was really good mm. for me. The, the comedy and the acting blend, I thought, was on point. I thought it, it didn't detract from one element or the other, I thought the balance was absolutely perfect in this. That's not to say I don't like Jackie's Kung Fu comedies. I love oh, them absolutely. as yeah. much as the next yeah. guy. But this, this nice film... It's something a bit different. Yeah, it was Jackie. a bit more grand, a bit more epic. And um, the acting, I think the acting in this film was fantastic. Um, I really enjoyed the acting on this. Um, yeah, there was, there was a lot going on in this film, you know. It's on the surface, it's like a simple story, but there's a lot of depth to it. We're, we're talking in big themes here, we're talking about war mm. and what war does to people. And um, yeah, I think it's tackled really well. The director, Ding Sheng, he's um, this was on his second film, I believe, but, but um, Jackie did write to put a lot of faith in him for this film because he. Mm. He delivers the goods, you know, it's He's a great, a really good job. It's, it's a great job, yeah. So, have you got any more points that you would like to raise? The floor is yours. Well, um, I'd be interested to know, actually, from our viewers, what they thought on the topic of Jackie's character in this, the Liang soldier, whether or not um, you think he is a coward or not. Um, we sort of discussed it and... We're, I think we sort of know what we think, um, but when we were watching the extras, Jackie mentioned that his character was not a coward, but the director in his interview mentioned that the character was a coward, and we were like, oh, yeah, two, two different viewpoints, so I we mean, sort of thought we'd throw it out there and see what your opinion is. Yeah, we'd be interested on getting your feedback on that, mm, as mm. far as us. Jackie's character wasn't a coward. He was doing what he could to honour his father's family line. Mm -hmm. And I believe he, he acted true to what his character would do. Mm -hmm. But you could say 
that he was avoiding conflict and that could be looked upon as cowardly. But the way it's structured in this film, mm -hmm. I really don't think he was a coward. But it's an interesting one to put to a vote. So please, we really would like feedback on this. Let us know what you think. Is he a coward? Is he not a coward? We really want to know what you think. Thank you. So, what's your score for this film? Right, well, for me, I really, really love this film. It's up there for me with the very best of Jackie. I mean, I, I'm get, I've got to give this film a 9 out of 10. Truly love this film. And you? I'm going to give um, Little Big Soldier 7 out of 10. It was brilliant, but I'm not so much of the historical films, if, if I'm completely honest. So, um, yeah, that, that's my score for this one. That's fair. So this Blu-ray is the Collector's Edition from Cine Asia. Yes, and it includes an audio commentary by Bay Logan. This commentary was really good. Did you enjoy it? Absolutely, I find it really interesting. Yeah, and unlike some other commentaries that you might have had on other films and discs, Bay Logan talks from one end of the film all the way to the other. Yeah, and it's through. very insightful, very thorough. Lots of good nuggets of information in there. That was a good one, wasn't it? So we also had a making of gallery. And we thought this was spliced together a little bit from some other extras on the disc. But, you know, it was good. If you want it bite size, it's fine. Mm -hmm. What else did we have? A, a trailer gallery. So that's always a bonus. We like to look at the trailers. Um, there was an on-set report gallery, which was just, again, small little bite-sized chunks, yeah. but very good. Mm -hmm. um, Interview gallery. Yes. Most of the main stars of the film. And yeah. the director. Yeah, the interview gallery, I enjoyed. Some interviews I enjoyed more than others, mm -hmm. I'd say. Mm -hmm. But watched them all, because, again, you, you're getting a lot of depth in there. And you get a general feel of how respectful everybody is towards Jackie Chan, which is nice mm. to know, you know, that they all refer to him as master. Mm -hmm. And a music video, which mm -hmm. is Jackie himself singing, so you, you yeah. can't go wrong with that. Yeah. And uh, the last extra one we found most interesting was the um, behind the scenes footage. <clears throat> that was really interesting. Yeah, you had over an hour of um, mm. footage there. Mm. And for me, when when you get to see some of the action that goes on in the film, but you see it behind the scenes, <laughs> you really get a sense of how capable these actors and stuntmen are. And how much work goes on behind the scenes, all the different people involved and the lengths they have to go to to arrange the stunts and, and you know, scenes and things like that. Yeah. It's quite, a, quite an eye-opener. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, this is a stacked disc. Mm. The only mm. thing we would say is missing from this some postcards, some printed yeah, artwork, yeah. like a that poster. That would have been nice. Yeah, slip that case. That would have been a little bonus, really. But with that in mind, Shaz, what are we going to score the package? We're going to score the package four stars. Right, so this time with this Blu-ray, I thought the picture was outstanding. The, the HD on it was great. Mm -hmm. um, it always helps when you have a film with a lot of landscapes and a lot mm. of scenery. Oh, and it was particularly stunning scenery in this film. Oh yeah, it was lavish, wasn't mm. it? The, the scenery is fantastic in this film. If you haven't seen it, you know, watch it for that alone. I mean, it, it really, it really is striking. And um, I think the whole film was filmed outside, wasn't it? On set, I think there was only one scene I think there was in only, the studio. Yeah, there was only one built-up set, mm. as far as I know. Mm. It was all location shoot, and yeah. um, it looked terrific. It really does look fantastic. Um, I no problem with the picture on this disc at all. Did you have any problems no, with that? No, no problem at all. Well, that's good. Well, with that in mind, Chaz, what will we score in the picture quality? We're scoring five stars. <laughs> So 
So Shaz, what do we get with the audio options? Okay, on this release, there is DTS Master Audio 5.1 in both Mandarin and English, and there's also Dolby Digital 2.0 in Mandarin. We listened to the 5.1 Mandarin, which was good. It was exceptional soundtrack on it. We had no problems with it at all. We also um, spot checked the English audio, and um, that was very good as well, wasn't it? Yes, we was quite happy with it. As you might know by now, I'm not a big fan of English dubbed on these films, but they matched the voices up to the characters really well, fair to say. Yep, yep, I thought so. Great. Yeah, so we were happy with that as well. Yep, we also spot checked the um, Mandarin 2.0, and we didn't feel that had as much impact um, as the other soundtracks. No, it was adequate. But we'd recommend the 5.1 film yeah, with that absolutely. option. Yeah. But again, the soundtrack on this film, very good. You know, more than you'd expect, really. Mm -hmm. I mean, it was really good soundtrack, which is why we're going to score it five stars. How did you find the subtitles? I found them really clear. Um, there were no spelling mistakes or grammatical errors that I found. Um, I thought they were pretty flawless, to be honest. I agree. So, in that case, we're giving the subtitles five stars. Just a few final thoughts on Little Big Soldier. So, have you got any final thoughts to share? Well, there's a couple of points I wanted to bring up. Um, I'd like to point out that we have Ken Lowe in this film, Jackie Chan's bodyguard and friend. He has a, a good part in it. It's only a small part, but I always love seeing Ken Lowe turn up. And um, yeah, I liked his part in this. He's always good. He had a nice little heroic last stand moment in the film, which is probably a little bit of a spoiler. But there we go, this film's like um, over 10 years old now. And we also have Yu Rong Wong, um, who many of you may know from Iron Monkey. You may expect him to have a beefy role in this if you haven't seen him, but he doesn't. That's all I'm going to say. Small role, but, you know, he's capable as ever. So it's good to see him in there too. And I wanted to ask Shaz as well. What did you think of the style of action in this one? it was quite well sort of put together yeah yeah is it what you expect from jackie though no mm. no but i think he was trying to do something completely different to his normal sorts of films really yeah because he's not the kung fu superhero in this is he no no not at all i mean we know he always plays like an underdog but yeah, usually yeah. a very capable underdog and then in this it's structured Differently, the, the action and the fights, he's not a warrior as such. You no, do believe no. he's a, a farmer. Yeah, I think I think he can probably look after himself, you know, when he needs to, and he's maybe a bit sneaky. Um, yeah, <laughs> he uses his cunning and guile more than he does his prowess, mm, it's mm. fair to say, isn't it? Mm. So, you know, we just wanted to put that in, because if any of you go out there expecting the usual Jackie, kicking ass like he does and having really drawn out fights you're not going to get that in this one but you know it's still entertaining it's well crafted it's well thought out did you have uh, any more thoughts on the film that you wanted to share with anybody uh, just that um i think the director turns up near the end um, mm -hmm. in a small role doesn't he i think he's a general yeah um i thought that was a nice nice touch as well that the director's in it yeah, it's good that he's uh, willing to muck in. Mm. You're not going to need any help getting your hands on this one. It's available pretty much everywhere. With it being a UK release, you know, supply of it is still plentiful now. Um, look to be spending for about £8 or so. You should be able to get it for that, I would imagine. That's it for our review of Little Big Soldier. We hope you enjoyed, and we'd like to thank PerryFan49 for suggesting that we cover another Jackie Chan film. We uh, were a little bit late getting it in for his birthday this year, but hopefully next year we can remedy that and um, maybe 
make it a continual thing yearly. Let us know what you think again in the comments. And uh, thank you to everybody that's given us any advice, any suggestions, any comments. Thank you to all subscribers and all those that have liked the video. And um, the Instagram crowd as well, they've been really helpful and really supportive towards us. So thank you everybody and we will be back next time. With uh, the start of our reviews of the Yuppie Fantasia collection. Yes, we're very much looking forward to these. Yeah. We know um, Paul Fox is a big fan, so we um, hope we do these justice and uh, we will see you then. Mm -hmm.